We're live. Shows that I'm live, so I must be live. And you guys are all here. I mean, it literally, you guys are commenting. You've been commenting. But somehow it shows zero for the people that are viewing. Oh, there it goes. 23. It takes a second for it to populate. Oh, man. Good evening, Rob. Says Fedora Gent. Show. No. That's not what I clicked on. Where'd it go? There it is. Fedora Gent. Thank you. Craig Bess is here. Long Island uh, John is here. Yeah. Fuck it. We're doing a live. Uh, Tim is here. Hung out with Tim. Man, it just seems like late, yeah, almost yesterday. We, I missed you yesterday, technically, but we hung out Saturday. So Larry C's here. Paul Sanchez checking in from Dallas. Ginger Down Unders here. Celine Driver, my number one uh, troll killer. James Duffy. Sorry, I missed you there too, bud. Uh, well, I'll be out to California again, I'm sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to make the uh, Warren and Wand wind up watch fair San Francisco or not, but if I do, I'm sure I'll see you there because that's a little easier for you to go there. I know you're you're close to the Bay Area, if not in the Bay Area. YZ80 is here. Bean Boy's here. Uh, Mark is here. Eddie. Let's see. Going through some past comments. Anonymous watch guy. Todd is here. My rich friend. Actually, Todd wearing. If you're still here. Wearing uh, the watch that my rich friend gifted me at the meetup that I just did in Long Beach area for the uh, the Hamilton. I actually technically don't know what this one's actually called. It's the Khaki Automatic, but I don't know what the model of it is actually called. Oh, yeah, man. I rocked this thing all day today and getting the leather um, broken in a little bit. I, it's it's actually really good leather right out of the gate, but I can tell like once it forms up a little bit better, it'll be a solid wrist watch for sure. I was going to switch it. It was, I almost took the easy way out and I almost just threw an FKM on it, but I'm like, nope, wear the leather. It's winter. Let's do the leather. Let's make it happen. Craig says, like the car video. That was so freaking cool that I was able to go to that car and technically that was just a cars and coffee thing in Laguna. And that thing was, that show was incredible. Ah, okay. So it's nicknamed the khaki officer. That's appropriate. I'm the, I like it. GH Woody's here. Joe and the Badger's here. Um, sorry we missed Joe as well. I know he had some other obligations he had to take care of and stuff. So um, that would have been fun to hang out with. Mr. Joe and the Badger. Yeah, I went to two car shows. I went to two. They weren't car shows. They were just cars and coffee. Like anywhere else in the United States, and that was like a legit car show. There had to have been, I don't know if there was an official count on how many cars were at that one on Sunday. But, man, there had to have been close to like four or 500 cars there. It was incredible. I am sipping on some, um, we're going to call it cough syrup. I don't have a cough, but, you know, preventative measure. Let's see. Lamar says he agrees with the title. Yes. I am excited for not only just now or 2024, but just the watch industry collectively as a whole whether it's the luxury stuff or the you know alibaba stuff or the micro brand stuff like it's just as a watch enthusiast as a consumer or whatever you want to do is it's just a killer time to be in the hobby yeah floridian it was a nice meetup uh, let's see Teddy M here. Glad to be joining tonight. Just reading some co uh, comments here. Sean Holloway's here. Uh, let's see. Brave Sailor's joining in. Been a while since. Sean says it's been a while since joining in. Thanks for joining us. Uh, 
Oh, let's see, Chris, Evan, Daniel, prices are coming down a bit. Yeah, the market's kind of like balancing out a little bit. And it's just, I mean, some of it is just naturally happening, but ultimately part of why it's so good to be a watch enthusiast because so many great watches are available and there's also so much competition, which is, you know, hard for the, like, I, I typically focus on the micro brands. It's difficult for them or whatever tier you're at, it's difficult for them to compete. So they're the ones that are busting their asses and working really hard to make a great product at an affordable price and then do all the marketing on it where we just get to sit back and go like, eh, I'll take that one. Also, I want a discount. So like, it's, it's just a great time to be in the hobby. Oh, shoot. I highlighted the wrong one right here. Craig Bess, 100%. Most micro brands today are better quality than the stuff from the 80s. That's like, that's a statement and a half right there. That's 100% the case. Um, aftermarket bracelet for the Seiko Alpinus. Um, go check out, it's not called Uncle Seiko anymore, but... Um, let me let me do something. Hold on a second. Let me do this. And then let's go over here and we'll go. It's called they they dropped the Seiko part. So now it's just called Uncle Straps. So if you go here and you go to bracelets, um, I believe they have something for the Sarb Alpinist. So I think if you're is the SPB 117? I want to make sure we're looking at the right watch. Okay, so that should work. So if you look at these, you have tons of options here from Uncle Straps. So if you go here, unclestraps.com, you'll have, they, they got to call them different names because it copyrights and all that stuff but you have like a beads of rice you have basically a jubilee style you have like a president style they call them something else but you know what they are um the razor one i like on the skx it would probably work really good on the sarb as well uh, i think that or the executive bracelet would look the best so let me know if that works Um, yes, reading some comments. Want to get Oceanus. Oceanus is good. Okay, let's hide that. I haven't had hardly anything to drink in a long time, so excuse me if I make weird faces, but tonight. If anyone cares, I chose Four Roses Single Barrel. So it is a 100 proof or barrel. They, don't, they didn't label it as barrel proof because there's some other criteria they have to meet. But it is 100 proof, which is, quite frankly, it's pretty delicious. Yeah, prices are up on the Uncle Seiko. Uh, they're still pretty dang good. That's a pretty affordable bracelet. Cough syrup. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had to choose, and that bottle is a little over half gone. So I just went for it. Um, I have, you can kind of see it, like over there. That whole cubby got taken over by uh, bourbon bottles. So I have, like, some Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, some Weller 107, um, a Blanton's, and some other stuff. Um, let's see. Need to try a new whiskey just released by Buffalo Trace called Traveler. I haven't heard of that one. I'll have to check that one out. Uh, let's see. Weeby finally jumped on a G-Shock rabbit hole, picked up an MTG to start the year. Those are, I love the MTG. Um, it, it does kind of feel a little bit large on wrist, but, um, okay. Todd just asked a question. So I'm going to switch screens. When do you expect the Notice Canyon? So I actually bought a couple watches today. 
so I bought Todd's. Um, let's see, anonymous watch guy says drinking some old Forester. I have some old Forester upstairs, but I, I forget what one it is. I can't remember which one it's called. Um, so I couldn't resist it. I just got back last night at like midnight from my California trip, hung out with Wes and Cullen, the owners of Notice Watches. I worked with them. I've been working with them for a long time, but I worked with them. We did the Notice Deep Random Rob Orange Dial. That one's doing really well. There's there's not a whole lot left. They've also collaborated with Matt Farrer from The Smoking Tire. I've been watching and listening to Matt Farrer for years, and I met him actually once at a grid life. Great guy. Super cool. Um, super go-getter, too, like, you know, in the community and everything. Well-established. Um, this picture best represents this watch. Some of the other pictures on the Notice website um, – are a little more like washed out, not like fully washed out, but this orange and the size of those hands, the way they're framed and the size of the watch. I don't know why my monkey brain just thought it was going to be more of like the, the notice sector, which is a little bit smaller case. This is a larger case. This works on my wrist. It meets my 2024 criteria for only buying orange dial and white dial watches. That's one of my goals for 2024, orange dial or white dial only. I've already broke the rule, but it's okay. So, but I did redeem myself right after breaking my rule by buying this watch, this beautiful orange watch. So um, let's let's go take a look at it. It's actually, that's cool. It's in, it's in the tab called Design Lab. It's right next to my watch. So let's click on the Canyon with by Matt Farrow, which we were already there, but. Oh my God, I am so freaking excited to get this watch. I don't know when they're going to be shipping. It is, I'll, I'll cover the dimensions in a second, Mark. Just look at it. Will you just look at it? Just look at it. It's a uh, 20 bar. Screw down crown, all that good stuff. Super legible. It's basically, when I look at it, it's clearly not an Explorer, but it has that 369 at the cardinal positions, 12 o'clock double bar. Bold handset. It has kind of a sector dial with that, you know, center part submerged down a little bit. But this is this is my watch. I, mean, I know they didn't. This is Matt Ferrer's watch, but like I feel like this could have been my watch. So I can't wait to get this watch, and maybe I'll meet Matt Ferrer one day or something, um, and be wearing this watch or something. It'll be just kind of fun. But and we can talk cars and stuff. He's super knowledgeable on cars. Look at it on wrist. This orange is incredible in person. These pictures are actually pretty good. Hey, there's Matt right there wearing his watch. And I have no idea what car he's in. He's way more of a car guy than I am. And there it is on a wheel. So specs on the watch. Here we go. Ordering public uh, January 1st. Estimated delivery is late January, 2024. <laughs> Now, I do know that the Notice crew does the best they can adhering to those timelines. They are probably one of the best brands at hitting timelines like that. Uh, and I don't know how they, I, I know how they do it. They work their asses off, but that's that's incredible. They've, they've been working on these. So there's only 200 of these. I think that, yeah, there's still some left. I don't think there's very many left. Um, the mint dial one that was before this, they only made a hundred of them, and those sold uh, pretty quick in just in Matt's community. So the the us the watch enthusiasts, we didn't really get them, um, which is a bummer. But they're gonna make more, and I know they're already they already dropped hints that they're gonna be doing a um, probably a dive watch. So I'm excited to see what that turns out to be like, because Matt has good taste. So, and Notice is capable of capturing what us non-watch guys like Matt is a watch guy, and I'm a watch guy, but I'm, we don't know the structure of how to design and build a watch. And to work with Wes and Cullen and their team and try to, like, get your vision to them 
and they literally nail it on the first or second try just shows you how dang good they are at their job. So uh, these are going to be, you know, just like all the notices, they're designed and assembled in LA. So um, 11 or 1200 bucks. So $1,200, 200 of them. Technical specs. Let's read technical specs. So yeah, 41 millimeter, 47 lug to lug. That size works for me. It is not a ghost day date. It, it, uh, I didn't check it. It shouldn't be a ghost day date. Um, it has the Swiss, um, was it the La Joux Pere G101 movement, 24 joules, 68 hour power reserve, very thin movement, keeping that watch only 11 and a half millimeter thick. And BG, BGW9 grade A, which notice they have their loom down pat. 20 millimeter down to 16 millimeter taper, same as my watch with the Nodex clasp. It's perfect. It's going to feel great on wrist. It also comes with another strap as well. The Smoking Tire logo on Keeper. Quick release spring bars. Great looking watch. You know what else is a great looking watch? This watch. And there's not very many left. Did you guys get your uh, notice deep? So when we did the meetup on Saturday in uh, Long Beach with Wes and Cullen and crew and everything and, and uh, the people that purchased the watch that were kind of local and could make it. Um, we handed out, I don't know, like 10 watches or whatever, but that was as many as they made or assembled by then. They we're still waiting on more parts to even do that. I didn't even get my watch. I didn't even get mine. Um, so, yeah. Um, everybody else got theirs. I didn't get mine. So, uh, I'll probably have mine. So uh, the people that ordered these, just so you know, I think they're also trying to ship these at the end of the month. Don't hold me to that. Um, does it actually say on here? Estimated delivery late January. So they're, they're, they've, they've set it on their website. They're also shooting for end of January. So look at that dial on that thing. So dang good. They nailed the orange on this. Uh, Tennessee Mike said he's wearing his right now. Uh, let's see. Colin said two weeks they'd be doing assembly. Fair enough. That puts us right towards the end of January. I guess I'll just wait. What choice do I have? Uh, yep, Todd got his. Yep, uh, Todd got his. Eric said he can't wait to get his. I can't wait to get mine. <laughs> uh, Celine Driver says, I bet you guys told notice to pack a camel strap in my watch packet, didn't you? Um, no, but I can send you one, Dane, if you want. Like, which do you want the digital camel or the regular camel? I can, I can hook you up, brother. I can hook you up. Well, yeah, it's going to mess you up for a while. And then on top of that, you're left-handed, so you wear it on your right wrist, which is already kind of weird. John Page has his, loving it. Calico Basin has his. That's awesome. That's I'm. It's so awesome that you guys – and I handed quite a few people their watches too, so I'm, that, was, that was a very fun experience from my perspective as well. Yep. Thoughts on upcoming Seiko GMT. Is there a new Seiko GMT that I'm not aware of? You have to tell me what the model number is or something. Need to send. Um, let's see what else was I looking at? This microphone's in my way. So there's that. Um, this has everybody here heard of this? Oh, it's a Seiko 5. 
says uh, Tim. Watches of espionage. Somehow I got sucked into this. And started to get obsessed with it. And then quickly realized that you can't get the damn things anyway. Because they sell out instantly. Like, I like these ones. These Zulu straps. Can't get them. They do these drops and they sell out, sell out instantly. You can't get them. At the meetup, my buddy Will, insanely generous, gave me one. I'll show you here on the this camera. He gave me the tan new release watch, watches of espionage. You can see the little logo there. So is Random Rob about to be a Zulu strap wearing watch enthusiast? I think there's a strong possibility that's going to be the case, guys. I went from being a bracelet guy to an FKM guy. I think the natural progression of things needs to be a Zulu guy. So that's actually going to happen. So I have a couple of these. Well, I have this one, and then I have a 20 millimeter on the way from a separate thing. So I'm super excited to get that. And try it on with some watches. This is a 22 millimeter. Ah, Manny's here. Thanks for joining us, Manny. Sorry we missed you in Long Beach, buddy. Only Zulu orange strap. Um, we're going to talk more about that later. That's super, super early conversation with um, the people that are working on that. And I'll, I'll, I'll share a little bit with you guys. But so watches of espionage. So these, wa these straps are actually from a company it's on the buckle it's actually called um zulu alpha straps which turns out my buddy wes that owns notice knows they all know all these guys know each other all the guys that are like in the cool kids club they all know each other so he got me in touch with uh i think it's darren and so we're, we're talking see if we can figure something out but even his straps which are the similar strap just sell out instantly check this out they have killer straps right here i think some of these might be available so like i could do i could probably do that one that one's pretty cool looking oh i should probably share my screen these guys i thought i was sharing my screen apologize for that yes they are alpha or Zulu Alpha Straps, rather, sorry. I The whole time I was just talking right there, like casually, I thought I was already sharing my screen. I'm new at this. Also, I don't want to say tired, but I'm sleep deprived. You'd think that's the same thing. It's not. It's, it's different. It's not the same thing. I'm not tired. I'm just sleep deprived. That means my brain's not working, but I'm not ready to sleep. So, anyway. Um, yeah, I so you can buy these. But I do like the look more of the watches of espionage with the stitching trim. The stitching trim and the little tag on there, which they've done on some other collaborations, I think look really cool. Hey, Dwight's here. Dwight was actually at the, uh, the um, Long Beach meetup too. And his uh, lovely wife, Autumn. And their, their little rug rat running around too. Keeping everybody young. Um, so they do other colors, clearly. Um, not in this configuration, but if we go out of here and we go back, I think Dane might like this. They don't have an orange camo, but they do have a multi-cam, this one here. But this one's sold out. Of course, the one that I actually want is sold out. Reading comments, guys. Oh, yeah. You're welcome, Dwight. No camo, no NATO, no. Dane's out. Dane is out. He's, he's drawing the line, not doing it. Hey, I was there with you too, bud, not that long ago. But I just, 
I think a while ago I just turned my care down and now I just do what I like and what I want and I like orange camo and I'm, I'm digging these watches of espionage straps which happen to be made by Zulu Alpha straps so consequently I like Zulu Alpha straps so now I just need to pick what I want and order them up and 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 begin to wear them I have if you look over here back on the if we go back on the desk cam um can i show this more but if you look on here on the on the desk cam do i have a pointer i mean look at some of these watches i have this winfield the aries even the vero the notice the sanjin uh the momentum the marathon those are very like military-esque type watches and those would work really good on some of these Zulu Alpha straps. So I'm digging it. Manny's in search of the notice random rob coin. Um, it should be in the box with your watch. Oh, oh I have one here. Um, it's actually upstairs. I didn't finish unpacking. It's uh, I think it's upstairs still. I don't know where it's at. I have a lot of work to do. I didn't make any videos today either. Just uh, wasn't going to happen. So um, anyway, that's on the strap topic that, yeah, I'll probably be wearing some straps. Is orange camo for autumn, spring? Well, check this out. Um, is it my... Malaysia fire. Is it going to load? Check out the camo that the Malaysia fire department wears that's like a that's a pretty bad picture let me see if we can find a better picture maybe this one there's it's kind of like a reddish orange it's too red i'd have to find something more orange so there's some wild colors out there for camo so don't get me don't get me all tempted on the uh i'll go nuts with the camo guys don't push me i'm close to the edge um, Joe the Badger says, uh, Turi, did I spell that right? Is it this one? Yes. Let's check it out. I'm not doing that yet. If you would offer cookies, maybe. Okay, those are two P's. $170. They are proud. Are they sneaking up on the fire? Yes, Eric. Has to be the best comment for tonight. They are they I have to wear camo because they have to sneak up on the fire in Malaysia. Malaysia fire is sneaky. So these are this is camo. It's hard to see, but it's like a canvas camo. Chieftain strap. These look like they're probably pretty good straps. Um, Defender. Oh, there we go. What is that? Is that leather? Damn it, it's sold out. This is the problem. Every time I find something cool, everyone else already found it before me. It's already sold out. Both rugged and refined defi defender single pass watch type is with the really is. Okay, well now I want one. I want that I want that leather camel. That one. But it says sold out. Can I choose a different
get notified. They're so they're all sold out. Okay. Mm. No, Tennessee Mike, I, I kind of want to do I kind of want to do like a, a winter camouflage. I'm not sure like how or digital or or something. I, I want to figure out a really good winter camouflage for a strap. And see if we can make that happen. But I want to put my own twist on it. I want to add a pop of orange in it. So it makes it not worth a damn. Because after all, it's a watch strap. It doesn't have to be camouflaged. So. Winter soldier camo. Yes. Yeah, I want to do something like that. But not like the Marvel character. Isn't that a Marvel character? Try living in Australia when postage costs more than the product. Um, there's probably... Can't you just get like kangaroo straps or something? Isn't there something down there? Who makes the best leather straps? That is a very subjective uh, topic. There's a lot of people are going to weigh in on that, but <laughs> uh, some jokesters in here. Um, I, I, I like Horween leather. So like the, some of the brands that use Horween leather, they, I, to me, those are the ones I like, but Evan had a great idea, a yellow snow camel. Yes. Uh, that will, that will definitely not do that. Was he like, Celine Driver says he likes Calorab, and I know Tennessee Mike, and I know a bunch of you guys do too, but I've tried them. I don't like them. So. Okay, so we got to look at, we got two to look at. I'm going to look at this one first. leather affordable these would probably work i'm not seeing any well these this style i kind of resonate with and still pretty affordable i think some of those would work pretty good prices so that's a good one now floridian mentioned jack foster yeah type over here Well, let's look at the premium stuff, shall we? Um, okay, still still pretty affordable, under a hundred bucks. Oh, there's a camo one. It's Italian vegetable tan camo. Oh, that one's kind of cool. I'm digging that. Olive green. These are good looking straps. has nice oh, the ostrich is sold out i think a lot of people are sold out of the ostrich i don't know if something happened with those what is that cognac there's another camo one hmm. don't really care for that that's like a faded camo nice polished stingray so there's some great options there let's go back to what do the aviator straps look like I've never seen these guys before. And they have matching other leather goods you can match with. Let's look at the standard. These are only $58. 
these are pretty basic and i know a lot of people might not like these very much but i tend to like these basic straps i don't know why they're just instantly comfortable as soon as you put them on you wouldn't think they would be or maybe some people just want a more premium feel to them but these work for me for sure i might pick up one of these or i might you know what i forget i keep forgetting i'm an influencer i should probably like email these people and be like hey would you like to send me a strap and i'll make a video on it i get caught up and i look at them and i'm like all right cool i'll just buy it Let's see. Haviston has a couple camel styles. I haven't looked at Haviston in a while. Let's go check out. Let's go check out Haviston. We're over here shopping. We're live stream shopping. Which ones are camo? Probably be under their canvas or corporate canvas or would it be under the service series where's the hvg 44 i haven't talked to the haviston guys in a while long island john john says aaron bespoke leather straps are great but custom what he's saying there is custom as in they're very expensive You guys are a bunch of strap junkies. Why is this not loading? Did my internet die? Am I even live? This is why is this not loading? It's just Haviston. Okay, well, we're not looking at that then. Kangaroo straps are probably good. I don't know. I've never tried them. Vintage straps. I'm trying to read some comments here. You can do orange stitching. On what? Yes. I can do orange stitching. On what? On what brand? Are any of you guys into this brand? I was saying Sanjin, but I don't think it's Sanjin. I think it's something else. Sagan? Sangan? Something like that. Do Marathon do a camel strap? I don't know. Let's go look. They sent me two leathers and then the black one. So they got two piece and they have nylon. Rubber straps. They have both colors. Nope, nope, stop, stop with that. They have greens. They do. Holy crap, they do. And they're on sale. Son bitch. I'm buying me some camel straps. Add to cart. Thank you very much. Do I want 10% off? I do not. I'm still shopping. We're buying some straps. Add to cart. I don't want that. You guys already sent me that for free. What else do we got? I don't really care for their those ones. I actually like the marathon straps too. That's it. I'm gonna start wearing. Why is this? Why does it go away when I do that? What is seatbelt weave? Ooh, fancy. I think I. I think I found the. Um, the only two. 
camel ones. I don't think I don't think any of their rubber is gonna be camel. Why is it do that? I don't know. Whatever. I got those two in my cart. I just need to check out. I can't check out why I'm on the computer here with you guys. I have to go like this. <sighs> da, 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 da. Do not have a discount code. Uh, I'll have to do it on my phone later. Okay, I'll have to do that on my phone later. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, you can't like Marathon at Random Rob. I like Marathon, and you don't like anything I like. Wait, what did you... <laughs> what the hell, man? That's not true. We like a lot of the... We, like, we both like Florida. I mean, that's a pretty big thing. So... Uh, let's see... Dad Mod says I like Strap X Pro for rubber straps. I have not checked those guys out. Joe and the Badger said he did a rebuy with Sanjin. Well, yeah, it's like you're trying to get a, a watch from Canada and you're on the like the other side of the world. So you can do it. I'm sure. Um, Mark at Long Island Watch would probably sell you one. Look at their, let's look at the time pieces here. So I don't know all the models. Okay, so the Hydra is the two crown one. And it's sold out. So that's the other problem with this brand is like all this stuff is sold out, right? I'm assuming this is automatic. Is this automatic? So if we go shop time pieces. Overlord, that's the one I have. That's also sold out. And you could get it in the black case or the stainless steel case. It looks pretty good with the stainless steel one. I have the black one. White dial DLC professional. White dial DLC professional. Shop timepieces. Let's look. I'm going to go in, in order. Neptune. I like that. I'm not sure about the handset with that one, though. Shipping in February 23. Yeah. Uh, well, it says sold out. Shop. Timepieces. Merlin. That one's clean and classic. Um, but is that... How do you know if they're quartz or auto? Oh, you scroll down. Just keep scrolling down, Rob. Just scroll down. All the info's right there. It's a solar quartz. Okay. Time pieces. Merlin. Professional. Right there. Ah, Joe and the Badger. I think you chose well. That's a good looking watch. I dig it. I agree right here with this. I'm going to read the whole thing. Jesse says Sanjin overhyped. Is great, but overhyped, but they are fantastic. I have an Atlas, and I have used it on duty plenty of times. I use my Tudor left-hand drive or Marathon TSAR more now, but my Sanjin uh, in some serious stuff. I agree with you. I think they are overhyped. I think they're a pretty good-looking watch. I don't have any – I mean, I like them. Am I going to go nuts and try to buy them all? No. Um, I have one. I have the Overlord. That's That's fine. I'm good with that. That's a good looking watch though. Good choice on that one. Shop. Time pieces. Kinetic. So is this. Okay. That maybe had like a kinetic movement, but it's not like a Seiko kinetic. Because the, the Rondo quartz. So this one, I think I like this one. I, I would rock this one. I could see pairing this one with my overlord out of so far what i've seen but i'm kind of a sucker for the destro crowns even if they're offset what does the atlas look like the atlas looks pretty good too and this one's automatic 
So what was the other one I missed? The Neptune. Is that automatic? That's automatic as well. 50.9, 40 millimeter. Oh, and they made a DLC coded one. Eh, it's a decent looking watch. Buying your phone might work. Stick with momentum. I have, yeah, I have a couple of momentums too. I, I'm really digging all these like military vibed type watches right now. I don't know why. I I agree, Evan. I, I like the name Overlord. It's just cool. And let's see, what else do we have going on? They are very overhyped, but they look good, and I like quartz. I'm kind of with you on that. I have I have quite a few quartz watches now. The Momentum, the Sanjin, the Aries. Actually, I got a Berries watch over there. You guys want to go see those? I actually just ordered uh, something from Aries. Oh, Tennessee Mike with the plug. Thank you very much. Email randomrobreviews at gmail.com if interested in discord few spots still available yeah it's uh nearly sold out so if you're interested in getting in on the uh, discord now is the time so if you go over to aries we won't be able to buy anything well that's not true i actually ordered this christmas minifigure today it's supposed to be like uh bruce willis from the uh first yeah i think the first uh, what was it called? What was that movie called? I can't remember what it's called. Um, from the Tagomi Towers or whatever. Is that just like a regular Lego figure? Like, where did they get that? Die Hard. Thank you, Travis. Does, that doesn't even look like Bruce. Well, maybe a little bit like Bruce. Wait, there's a video? On. On. What the hell? Okay. Um, yeah, so all the watches are always sold out. Oh, that's not true. You can buy this one. This one's not sold out. Well, there you go. You can buy that one if you want it. I don't think I'd buy an Aries without a. Yeah, don't don't zoom in on your Aries. You will see stuff under the crystal. That is for sure. Very cool, fun wear to watch. Uh, watch to wear though. What else do they have? You can get, sometimes they have straps available. Like those ones are fun. I think this one is like one of the only ones that's available, which is the poppy. So it'd be, it's that, it's that one with the black. I think you can order that one, but I'm not going to buy that. <sighs> Brandon Norris, I sent you a link on Discord. Uh, da, da, da. All right. <sighs> I'm wearing down. It's almost 930. I know it's not, it hasn't been an hour, but anyone have a Doxa Sub 200 strap? For sale. Well, I think you can buy those right from Doxa, can't you? Cana uh, Canadian Watch Monkey? They're probably not cheap. I know that. Doxa. Um, I 
think you can buy the straps independently somehow. Can you not? Just go to strap have it. I would rather, honestly. And I need to fill my cart there anyway. Shot by width, 19 millimeter. Um, I would go with the, for that watch, because it's on, I would go with the smooth. I'd go with this one. And the, depending on what color you have, it doesn't really matter. I would still go with orange. <sighs> Floridian. That's a pretty good tasting whiskey liqueur type thing. I know you're, or, well, it's moonshine. Um, I know what you're talking about. I've had that. Actually, the moonshine is the one I remember when I got sick, like in 2019, I was drinking that. Okay, right here. If you missed my comment, the Sanjin you have came with a Zulu Alpha NATO. If you didn't know, it's just not branded. Um, well, the one, the Overlord I have didn't come with, you know what, shit, maybe it did come with one. I got to go back and look. I got to go find the case and look. I wasn't even paying attention to the strap then, Jesse. Are you talking about the Overlord had one? I got it over here on my uh, digital camo uh, FKM. Hmm. I have to go find that box because I bet you it's in there. Oh, you guys want the loom? I have now. I have to go shopping too because I have to get a new uh, loom flashlight. I gave it away to my buddy Will. We can do loom. It's easy. All you gotta do is go like that, and then shh, well, let me go back to the, <coughs> go back to that. And there's the loom. Yeah, I'm wearing the Draken hat. Hopefully, I'll be getting some more of those in, too. Yes, the Overlord does sweet strap, and you'd love it. Dang it. I need to go find the box, because I bet you it's in there. I don't remember who I bought that from. Oh, I know who I bought that from. I bought it from uh, Craig Bess. He was in the chat. I wonder if it was in there or not. Mm. No, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm sleep deprived. I'm not tired. So I won't be sleeping anytime soon. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Um, I got to go find my Sanjin watch case and see if I have another strap in there. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys on the next video.